it might be a little bit difficult for you guys about you know, these kind of technology stuff. So let me tell you about you know pretty simple use case. You gotta target on at their go-to market strategy. As usual, this is my full strategy. So I only have my assets that are Bitcoin and all the altcoin which related to these seven categories. And if you want a deeper understanding about my full strategy, please check out my video about my full strategy. Then here's my theory. Okay. Then today's part of matching category here. They're gonna provide a decentralized CDN solutions, especially focused on the mobile space. Then that is why they're gonna also provide a B2C applications to run these P2P CDN solutions. That is why number one and number two are the major matching category. Okay. Then as usual, I'm gonna find the six anaka points or side for the pinpoints, products, team, execution power, token economy, and hype cycle. And for each, I set the 5.0 point here. So the total score is 30.30. Then if you want a deeper understanding about how I'm gonna analyze each point here, please check out my video about my R point investment strategy. Then here's my video. Again, okay. Then here's total score of the per PCN token at this moment, 25.0 point. Then my minimum investment price is over 25 points. So from this perspective, I'm going to recommend investment in per mobile token, PCN. Then from here, I'm going to tell you the reasons. Okay. Then let's start here, pain point analysis. Then they may have two pain points. And the first one, this one, EC market is rapid growing. So here's the official predictions about EC mass adaptations, then current estimates in 2025, the maximum scenario they're gonna expect over around 50% of the old smartphone user, they're gonna start to use eSIM technology. That is why a lot of smart entrepreneurs start to think about how they're gonna use this technology for the next innovations. Then of course, by using you know, token economic stuff, the incentivized user, we're going to use the EC technology here. It's also great potential for its innovations on this network business stuff, right? Then, pain point number two current internet infrastructure is controlled by tech giants. Then, of course, one of the key missions for the blockchain industry, we're going to build a decentralized metaverse or a decentralized web 3.0. Because current internet infrastructure standing for the cloud solutions controlled by these tech giants, right? Like Facebook and Amazon. But we want to achieve decentralized internet infrastructure. Then to achieve this goal, of course, we need a blockchain. Because blockchain technology itself is a perfect match for this infrastructure. Okay? Then to realize this goal, you know, mobile technology itself is a one of the pretty critical role here. To build this decentralized internet infrastructure. Then from that perspective, we have to analyze per mobile. Okay. Then number two, product analysis. So here's product overview of the per mobile. So they're gonna provide three components for their hardware and software solutions. So having bars, bubble bees, and the flower. The having bars and the bubble bill, just like a P2P CDN network then they're gonna aggregate those data here on the floor, then, then they're gonna use the internet technology to run this decentralized infrastructure. Then, then one of the additional key things, what I want you to understand here, that they're gonna run this platform on Flana, not the Ethereum, okay? Then here's you know, their major hardware and software solutions to realize this in the platform here. So like for the flower, it's similar to the Helium network. So they're gonna provide you know, kind of hotspot solutions with their IoT technology. The four more, you know, mobile network, they're gonna provide an integrated solutions, this device and the small applications, and also this one here too. It might be a little bit difficult for you guys about you know, this kind of technology stuff. So let me tell you about, you know, pretty simple use case. They're gonna target on at their go-to-market strategy. So let's suppose Uber driver and Uber is delivered here, they're gonna integrate these hardware device inside their car or inside the bicycle here. Then this device, you gotta connect with your smartphones. 
by using their eSIM technology, all right? Then they're going to provide these driver traffic information by using their GPS technology, by using their smartphone. Then Pro Mobile sell these traffic data to these player here, such as Tesla or Google, Uber, and FedEx. Why? Because, you know, for example, Tesla, they are one time looking for AI automatic driving system by using the AI technology. Then, that is why they need these real-time traffic data. Google, same things. They're going to also provide a Google map, right? So, to provide the best adjusted, optimized traffic routes for the each user, they need these data. Uber, also thinking about, you know, optimized route for the each driver, and also thinking about, you know, AI-based automatic driving system in the long term. So, they want these data. FedEx, same things, because they were also thinking about, you know, automatic delivery system. So, it's pretty simple business model, but very scalable and it's then very sustainable. Then, for the reward, for these you know, Uber driver and the Uber is deliverer, Porn Mobile, they're gonna give PCM token for its reward, right? Then to me, which reminds me like, you know, this major critical difference between Dent and Porn. The reason is, Dent also focus on EC market. You know, they're gonna try to develop the you know, tokenized EC market. This is a great innovation. But the golden market strategy, they're gonna make a serious mistake because they're gonna focus on international private markets for the international roaming because they have a lot of cost structure problem here. But the problem is because of the Croatia pandemic, all people stopped traveling. That is why that mobile lost lots of business. But poor mobile case is actually pretty opposite because even we're gonna face second or third pandemic, next to five or 10 years, as some of the people predict like this way, they're gonna focus on Uber Eats driver or Uber driver, right? This use case, it's pretty resilient against pandemic, as you can see here. Because before the pandemic and after the pandemic, a lot of users, they're gonna start to use Uber or Uber Eats protect the family or themselves from COVID-19 infections, right? So from this perspective, this is a much more, you know, resilience model, thinking about the future of the EC business, okay? Then number three, team analysis. So, key member, founded in September 2021, then Anthony, co-founder, CEO, and he's also the co-founder and CEO of the Plot AI. This is kind of mother entity of Pearl Mobile. Then this tech startups focus on automatic driving system. That is why Pro Mobile Business has a great fit for this startup still. Okay? Then before he founded the Pro AI, he used to be an XVP of engineering at the Uber. Then before that, he was a co-founder of Auto Self Driving System, and he's an ex software engineer at the Google. Then he got the MS of Industrial Engineering at the UC Berkeley. So it's perfectly connecting that project for him. It's great. Then the second guy, Kat, Chief Business Officer, Founder and CEO at the MOD, the Founder and Executive Chairman at the Born Mobility and the BS of Computer Science at the Dorhousie University. Then Christian, CFO, CFO at the Prime AI. Then before that, he was a VP of Structural Finance at the Backlights. Then he also got the MBA at the London Business School. The fourth guy, Ognen, General Counsel, Co-Founder and the CEO of the Prime AI. So, they used to work together. It's pretty good. Also, he's an ex-head of research at Otto. So they're gonna also, you know, used to work together here too. It's great. Then JD Rowe at the Stanford Law School and the MS of Industrial Engineering at the UC Berkeley. So Ogne and Anthony, it's pretty long-term relationships. This is great for the best team more. And a cat for the points. She's a CTO at the Plan AI. Then she got the MS of Electronic Engineering at the University of Michigan. Rakan Graduate School, then past crew member, many in San Francisco, USA. So both from technical perspective and business perspective, 
This is a great team. It's usually from the token economics business perspective. They already get the finance guy and the league guy we are here. It's great. Then next one, execution plan analysis. So key stats as of June 2022. So for mobile here, the three the follower is 3K and the disco member is 1.6K. Still pretty early stage. Then their future major rival, such as Hidden Network, much bigger stats here, around 120K. The boss Discord on Twitter, it's great traction. And a dead, 130k. But I think poor mobile probably overwhelm dead here. That's what I'm thinking about. Yeah. The here's the problem explorer as of June 2022. So again, it's pretty early stage. So currently, most of the problem node active in San Francisco, LA, and New York. Right? So still really early stage. Then here's another reference. It's a hotspot on Hidden Network. You see this here? Much bigger traffic network here. Then their hotspot node is also over 120 here. It's amazing. Then about key news updates. So Porn closed seed round in April 2022. Then the venture capital, they're gonna join this round here, starting from slow venture. They also investment in Hidden Network too. All right, so they're gonna see the potential for the product too. Then other investors, including this wireless, therefore digital, OBN Capital, and Acom Pacific Ventures. Okay. Then number five, token economic analysis. So here's token economy design matrix, which I made, and the major matching category for them is DAPS and DCENTO CDN. Then still the PCN is pretty early stage, so I cannot confirm the network effect yet. So instead for your left ones, this is a network effect on the HMT tokens. So starting from this one, mobile user and home internet user wants to make money on P2P CDN. The models, more connectivity and the lower price routing so they can achieve better customer experiences. So more user, they're gonna join this network. Then this you know, growth engine brings their network blocks here. Then by leveraging this model here, second is you know, asset growth with a limited supply model. So with this traffic, they can achieve more liquidity here. So lower volatility, more long-term investor join this network here. So that is why more long-term investor, they're gonna join this HN ecosystem. So more user also join this node here, okay? Then about governance DAO, it's also a reference from Hidden Network. It's pretty active, both on Discord and GitHub, right? Then number six, high sector analysis. Then here is Gartner Upside Analysis, Blockchain Integrated 2020 versions, and a major matching category for them stands for the decentralized web, blockchain IoT, tokenization, and the decentralized applications. Completely same as Hedrick Network. Then all the time on decentralized web, it's a pretty hot topic on the blockchain space. Then blockchain IoT is another major topic, but a little bit like a you know, niche market. So for the poor business, maybe a little bit difficult to get the strong market momentum, but the still pretty you know, robust business. Right, that's the thing so I want you to understand here. Then find out the total scope updates. About pain point without any questions, 5.0. To realize Web 3.0 infrastructure, we need decentralized mobile internet. That is why eSIM technology is pretty important. So any kind of tokenized system to realize decentralized mobile internet infrastructure, matching here too, so 5.0. Product, 4.0. It's still pretty early stage, but the their go to market strategy, focus on use case, it's pretty robust one. I love it. So 4.0. Team level, 4.0. For the founding team, it's perfectly connected dot. They also team work, it's pretty great. They're gonna use to work together well. Then for other key members, also serial tech entrepreneurial background. So that is why it's a good team, 4.0. The execution power, 4.0. Still pretty early stage, so potential evaluations. Token economy, 4.0, same things. But you know, their network effect model probably will be similar to Helium network model here. It's pretty easy to understand. So currently I set the 4.0 here. Hype cycle, 4.0. These centers what? All the time, biggest topic for the blockchain space, right? So from that perspective, they also can gain steady market momentum. As far as they're gonna maintain the steady growth on their ecosystem, so 4.0. So the total score is 25.0 point. So my minimum investment criteria is over 25 points. So from this perspective, I'm gonna recommend an investment in Pro Mobile Token, PCN, okay? This is DeadNet. 
already losing their stock market momentum. So to me, it's kind of great timing that the report mobile getting into the EC market by using the blockchain and token on, and the token kind of stuff. So I also like this timing too. Okay. Then if you're interested in much more detailed information about my proper allocations and also my real time buying and selling signal for every single crypto assets, including ICO, IDO, and DeFi, please think about to join my premium membership program, real time buying and selling signal. The major purpose of this membership program to help to reach your crypto asset performance to my level here. The formal detail, please check out my other video. Then here's my video link. Okay. Alright, so that's all this time. So I'm gonna make this video for the occasion of purpose. So we're not gonna guarantee any kind of certain network investment outcome with this video and this video that I make. But I truly hope that my video will partly help you guys understand about high potential about crypto motor space. So I'm gonna make a lot of in this video of crypto motor space. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Bye.